Oh no, I'm black at it again with another video on what's the best black polish. And since it's Halloween coming up soon, I mean Halloween. <laughs> It's time for every YouTuber to take their regular content and make it more badass or just make it black. Case in point, black is the new galaxy. No, no, wait. Black is the new orange. Yeah, that sounds about right. So I think it's only fitting that I paint my nails black. Bet you didn't think of that one, Threadbanger. <laughs> A long, long time ago, I can still remember. I made this video. What's the best black polish? The drugstore edition. And we found a winner, but I still don't think it's as great as Colt Nails Nevermore. And so for a year now, I felt I have unfinished business in finding the actual best black polish in the whole f***ing land. While we always hope the thing that's the best is available at a really convenient drugstore, that's not always the case. Easy. No. So why don't you relax, sit black, <laughs> and let's find the best black nail polish again. This polish has been my favorite token black one for the longest time. Waiting for the comments to call me racist. But unfortunately, about a year ago, it was discontinued and you can't f***ing find it anywhere. In my professionally unprofessional nail opinion, I believe that a black polish should only require one coat to be fully opaque. Any more than that, I don't want to f***ing waste my time on doing two coats of black, okay? I got better things to do, like put hollow coats on. No, you look amazing. <laughs> I'm so sexy. And here you see it being applied in just one coat on this nail swatch thingy because painting the same nail 12 times really had my nails not looking forward to that so so I didn't do that <laughs> here it is on my real nail in last year's video why aren't my nails as yellow anymore I I don't know I honestly have no idea <laughs> I'm gonna use this black polish as the baseline to compare to 11 different <laughs> black polish experiments and see if any of them can match this Yay, experimental science! A plus if you know about control and experimental groups. It's pretty hard to demonstrate on camera when the black polish is translucent enough that you can see light through it, but I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. Next, let's try out this highly used black polish, which was the winner from my last What's the Best Black Polish episode. Put the black polish on the paper. No, you wouldn't be doing this in real life. This is just for experimental purposes, you smartass. And it does a decent job at pretty much covering in one solid coat on the fake nail as well. Because the differences are so small to detect, especially on camera, I can tell you that in my personal opinion, in real life, the first black polish does a better job at being more black. If you think that sounds crazy, then please do tell me why mascara exists in both black and black is black. Why would anyone want black when you can get black as black? Next up, I'm gonna try this one from Wet n Wild that a lot of you guys suggested on my last video that I failed to find in time for that one. This one happens to be only 99 cents, so if it works out and it's great, you could give it out instead of Halloween candy. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I am less sad. It's not terrible, but it's not the best. And just a quick note I learned from last time. Let me tell you that some batches are made differently. So if your Wet n Wild black polish works way better than this, then that's great for you. But that doesn't mean the company makes it that way every single time. Sometimes shit is inconsistent in factories or laboratories or f I, I don't know. Just save yourselves and try not to be a smart ass in the comments. Maybelline Corrupted Black. I like the sounds of this already. Uh, why is it having an allergic reaction? I did not know this was supposed to be a textured polish, but I guess it's a textured polish. Interesting, it's like rabies foaming at the mouth, but black. Next up, let's maybe try another Maybelline. So far, I am not impressed. It looks like black milk. Hey, Fredbanger, I just found your next DIY. Has that been done? Black milk? That's how little witch infants are raised. Black milk is good for nutrients and evil spells. Another black Maybelline? Gosh, y'all are trying too hard. Mm, it's better. It's definitely better. It's more of a warmer black than the last one, if that makes sense. But it's still far from one coat. 
This one's called Essence the Gel Nail Polish, except it's not gel at all. There's no lamp or UV light required. Marketing, marketing, marketing. Black is back though, yes it is. Black is also black. What? Very wide brush on this guy. Don't know if that matters to you, but now you know this information. But it's not full coverage black, so my search continues. Funky fucking fingers. I picked these up the last time I was in Florida. If you didn't know, I'm from Canada, eh? So we don't have these here. Well, that is not a one coater, ladies and gentlemen. That is not a one coat wonder. Interestingly, it is quite blue compared to the other blacks. Is it blue or is it black? Or is it blackish blue? Or is it bluish black? And because I'm still searching for the best black polish ever, we're gonna try out some indie polishes, which is basically code for it, they're harder to find. But fear not, I put links to where you can buy every single one of these black polishes online down below in the video description box. Even the winners and the losers. You never know, in case you wanna buy the losers. I think we're looking better though, yeah. This is getting better. It's not one coat, but we're looking good. Here's another black polish from an indie brand to try out. Mm. It's okay. It's okay, but it's not one coat, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It's dark, it's dangerous, it's black. Well, I sure hope so, because that's what the packaging says. This one is, it's not quite milky, it's more like a gel. It's like black gel. Yeah, it's like black hair gel. Oh, there's another good DIY. I'm gonna have to say this one is probably the least opaque, so it is the opposite of what we're looking for on this scientific experimental mission. Let's continue, we got one more. And if you're not new around here, spoiler alert, you already know that this is my new favorite black polish because I've been using it and linking it in every single nail polish tutorial where I've used black in the past few months. And I'm gonna show you why, because we love science on this channel. Look at that black, guys. Look at it. It's like whiteout, but black. Okay, it's blackout. All my black whiteout dreams have come to life. I already knew this one would win because when I bought all those other crappy black polishes, I tried them all and I didn't like any of them. <laughs> so naturally, I used the one that I like. I just hadn't made this video yet and it's been a few months. You know, it is possible to be biased towards something that you like because that's why you like it. But at least I can demonstrate to you guys why I think it's the best because I mean, Look at that, it's the fucking best, what can I say? And now let's put the sexy blackest black polish on my nails. Oh yeah, that's some black porn right there. I mean, let me just clarify, black nail polish porn, okay? Don't go twisting my words. And that's one coat, no top coat, of the best black polish, the winner of today's episode. Because it is an indie nail polish, it is harder to find, but I put a link down below to where you can find it. Hopefully it's not sold out after I publish this video. I am of the opinion that every person in the world needs a good black polish in their life toolkit. It's Halloween, paint your nails black. Your school has a no nail polish policy, paint your nails black. Parents don't like your edgy style, paint your nails black. You wanna be a badass, paint your nails black. But wait, what's that in the distance? Is that hollow? Is that motherfucking hollow? You know what looks best over black girl? It's a hollow taco. You can watch my other video on what's the best hollow top coat if you would like to know about that. There's two kinds of hollow tacos, if you were wondering. One is called a linear hollow top coat and one is called a scattered hollow top coat. It's all about personal preference and what you feel best in, you know? Just remember, this month is all about Halloween. Not Halloween, contrary to popular belief. My next video will be a Halloween nail art tutorial on my new friend, Corinne from Threadbanger. My new, on, my only friend. Any guesses on what it will be? Comment below. I'd love to hear what, what you guess wrong. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you black here next time. Bye!